And Sunday, we showed you the story of a retired firefighter who saved a woman from a car that flipped over. That retired firefighter was arrested at the scene by a trooper who wanted him to move his car while he was saving this woman's life. I was outraged, and we saw your outrage on social media that this hero was now facing obstruction charges. Well, tonight, a huge development in the story brought to us by 11 Alive investigator Brendan Keith. The Good Samaritans, the trooper, firefighter, worked together to save a woman's life. That's what this scene should have been. And instead, the headline reads... One headline read, one goes to the hospital, one goes to jail. The vehicle has overturned a couple of times. There is entrapment. The doors will not open. The female is unconscious. We can't get the doors open. They're going to need life life. I'm responsive, and they do not believe she's breathing. It's a possible fatality. The retired fire chief spent the next several hours in the Pike County Jail. What were you charged with? Obstruction of a law enforcement officer. You weren't rewarded with anything but a pair of handcuffs. I was rewarded by the hug from that lady when I went to visit her at the hospital and her five-year-old daughter. That was a reward. He walked in hiding behind um, a dozen of roses, and he just grabbed me and said, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. He saved my life. But I tell you, one reward he has is my friendship forever. So Brendan Keith joins us now. What's the big development tonight? All charges dismissed. The district attorney sent this to me. No charges against Rick Rickerson. Which is great news. And I can't say I'm surprised. We had this incredible outpouring on social media across the globe. People were talking about this. All of them outraged like I was. Did that have any impact on the dismissal? The district attorney said it did. In his dismissal, he said he took a personal look at this case and reviewed it, even though it's been on its desk for four months, because of the social media response and because of phone calls and emails from viewers like you at home. And how's our hero, Rick Rickerson, tonight? He's doing well. He's obviously relieved to have the charges dismissed. He would like a full vindication, but he's glad this isn't going to trial.